let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again Let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again Hey everyone, it's Gadget Guru. Um, in this one, I want to talk about um, a little bit of the new support coming out. Um, this the card I want to talk about is for spellcasters, and it's called Blizzard Princess. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's not an ice barrier monster or anything like that. Don't. It's not that. It's a Blizzard Princess. What it is? It's a 2800 eight star, and it's a spellcaster. And it says you you contribute summon this monster using only one spellcaster. During the turn this card is tribute summoned, your opponent cannot activate any spell and or trap cards. What? I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. I mean, to be honest, like that's pretty good. Like for a while now, spellcasters have been good. They just haven't haven't had the oomph to get in there. But with her, I th I think she could be really good for spellcaster archetype. Um. Really, uh, if they don't, know, if they can't solemn warning her or solemn judgment her, they're in a load of hurt because spellcasters can go off. Spellcasters can go crazy on you with wise man's chalice and summoner monk and who else knows? I mean, you know what I mean. Um, but that's actually pretty good. Like I, I do, I do like this the fact that she came out. Not only that, but that could actually open like a couple different doors for like monarch variants and stuff. You never know because it does say when she's normal summoned, so you don't even have to tribute a spellcaster for it. You just can't. You have the option to. Um, but one reason I like her is she gives cold wave, but in monster form. That is actually a really interesting idea because cold wave got banned and everyone complained. Oh, cold wave banned. Blah 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 blah. We want cold wave back. Blah 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 blah. Well, they gave you cold wave back. Just not as easy to use. This one you have to actually think about and actually try and use. I like that Konami did that. I like they're forcing players to think about you know what 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 they want to tech and what they want to use. Um, and if you don't know, she's a Blizzard. Uh, her name is Blizzard Princess. That's supposed to be the English name. Water spellcaster. Effect eight star. Twenty eight hundred. Twenty one hundred. And the text in English should read: You contribute this card by tributing one spellcaster type monster. Um, during the turn, this card is normal summoned. Your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards. Um, so unless they negate her summon, you know you're pretty much saying, "I play Cold Wave," and summon a 28. By the way, <laughs> I mean it's it's really nice. I think this is a really nice addition. Um, I can see a lot of really good combos with this with the spellcaster deck. I can also see a lot of really good combos with it, combos with this if I can learn to talk with monarchs because you know monarchs can go treeborn enemy controller take your monster treeborn again boom play this. Now some people say, well, you know they already play a lad. Is is it really worth playing Blizzard Princess over a lad? Yes and no. If you play a Blizzard Princess and it's in the graveyard and you blow up your lad, you get your Blizzard Princess back. You trade a 28 for a 28. I think that's pretty good. Um, but, like I said, Blizzard Princess does open some doors that weren't, weren't open before. Especially for plant decks. Plant decks can pump out tokens and stuff to tribute. No no problem. Just boom, 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 boom. And if you pump out some tokens and you got like four monsters on your field, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to double tribute. Like, I'll tribute a Dandelion and a Sangin. Summon Blizzard Princess? Daily Lion 2 tokens? I can now synchro as much as I want and you can't do crap about it. Think about it. That would stop Bottomless, that would stop Oppression, that would stop Compulsory, it would stop Book of Moon, it would stop Mirror Force, it would stop Torrential. The only thing they can do to you is Solemn Warning. That's it. If they don't got the Solemn Warning, they're like, oh, really? <laughs> so, I think this is I think this is going to be very healthy for the spellcaster archetype, but I also think it can be applied in many other kind of decks, not just spellcasters. So I wanted to make a video on this because I was pretty excited when I read this card's effect because I like that. I like that Konami's giving you support, but they're giving you in a way that you have to think to use it. Because before, Cold Wave was just splash. Just splash it. It's, it's auto good. It's auto win. But now you're like, well, it takes two tributes. It does do a Cold Wave effect, but it'll use my normal summon. It's really worth it, you know. You have to think about it. It's not just autopilot anymore. I, I, I've never been able to stand the autopilot of this deck, of this 
game. So the fact that they're giving us cards like this that we have to think about if we want to incorporate into our decks, I, I really, I think that's a really good move on Konami's part. But anyways, so Blizzard Princess, look for it. Um, it's supposed to come out on August 2nd. So release on August of second, the 2nd of August. So look for around then, and I will catch you all later.